Hi guys, welcome to Singa Hobby YouTube instructional videos. And today we're going to be discussing about the aileron to rudder mix. Uh, one of the things that we want to uh, take note is that the instructional videos apply to three of the models from Futaba, which is the 18SZ, the 16SZ, and the latest 16IZ. They all share the similar software within the transmitter. Alright, so back to the topic of aileron to rudder mix. Now this mix is useful when we like to mix the rudder into the aileron controls in the same direction. And it is especially applicable for large models to effect a roll turn uh, to the model. Now please take note that the amount of mix should be small to begin with or according to the model's instructional manual. Now we will increase as you test out the amount of mix uh, into the aileron control. Do note that if too much rudder is mixed into the aileron, it may cause the model to stall when you try to make that turn. So please be careful on this uh, aspect of the amount. All right, so let's get down to how we do it on the transmitter. Okay, so this is how we effect the aileron to rudder mix. First, we get into the model menu and on uh, page one of two, this is where we go into the aileron to rudder mix. Now we go to page two of two and in the status, we change from inhabit to on. Now we can assign it on the switch Right, by or we can leave it as it is. Once we turn it on and we move the aileron sticks, say I move the aileron sticks to the right, you will see that the rudder is moving. And if I'm holding the right, you will see that the rudder is giving a right yaw effect on the model. Okay, so left and right. So this is showing that the direction of the mix is correct. Looking at the amount that is currently being deflected of the rudder, it, is, it seems too aggressive or too much. So what we do is we will change the rate A and rate B from 100%. Let's reduce it to maybe 40% to begin with. All right, or and now you can see when I deflect the aileron sticks, now the deflection of the rudder is much less. Okay, so this is just an initial setup. All right, and next we will want to also put in a fine tuning control, which. By default, it is uh, not assigned, but I will assign it to the left dial. Left dial. And the amount I will put in is negative. Why negative? Because by moving it intuitively, if I were to move it clockwise, I want to add. And if I want to move it towards anti-clockwise, towards uh, the transmitter, I want to reduce it. So this will give me the, a negative value. So I can actually change when I make the deflection. So let me explain. If I were to move my sticks to the right, okay, I see the deflection on the rudder. If I were to increase, by pushing it clockwise, you see that the deflection is small. And I find that hey, it's too much. It's causing the model to stall when I'm trying to make a turn. I can reduce it. All right? I can reduce it. So this is, and this will be affected both sides. You see that? It's more and less. Okay, this is to the left. Row left. 
So this is the fine tuning knob which I will assign for the rudder uh, to aileron to rudder mix. Okay. So that is uh, what we need to do on the as a basic. Now you can also see the fine tune uh, effect on the curve. Can you see that? The white curve, the white line is less and this is more. So this can also be demonstrated uh, in the graph. Okay. Now if you want a more pronated, uh, a more larger effect, you see that. See? The effect of the knob becomes uh, more pronounced. But as a start, I will not uh, have so much because I want to make sure that uh, I'm comfortable with the amount. I do not want to over uh, mix the rudder into the ailerons, especially a model of this size only. We hope that you've enjoyed this video on aileron to rudder mix. And if you like this video, please like our video. And if you think that your friends can benefit, please share it. And if you'd like to find out more as we get along the instructional videos, uh, subscribe to our channel so that you get informed uh, when the new videos come in. Alright, so I'll see you in the next video.